there are largely two kinds of expo, World Expo and Specialized Expo. They're both overseen by the Bureau International Day Expositions. A specialized expo focuses on a specific theme, whereas a World Expo covers a broad range of topics. Now, the World Expo is considered to be a whole other level, and it's one of the three biggest events, along with the Olympics and the World Cup that a country can host. South Korea is currently aiming to host the 2030 edition of the World Expo. Now, South Korea's Busan city is racing against Saudi Arabia's Riyadh, Italy's Rome, and Ukraine's Odessa for the honor. South Korea's Daejeon and Yeosu actually have the experience of hosting specialized expos back in 1993 and 2012, respectively. Of the candidates, Italy already has World Expo experience, with Milan having hosted in 2015. Dubai had the honor in 2020, while Osaka, Japan, will host in 2025. Then what's so special about Busan? Located on the southeastern tip of the Korean peninsula, Busan is the second largest city in Korea. It takes less than an hour to get to Busan's very own Gimhae International Airport from Seoul by plane. Now, it's also a maritime logistics hub that bridges Eurasia and the Indo-Pacific. The port city welcomes ships and vessels from all corners of the world, hosting thousands of them every year, all year round. The city is also foreigner-friendly. Busan is the only Asian country ranked within the world's top 25 tour destinations as selected by National Geographic. The city's public transportation, from the airport, buses and subways to trains, helps both locals and visitors get around the city in the most convenient and time-efficient way. Plus, the city may be one of the best spots to get the freshest seafood and go on a cute cafe tour. For those movie lovers out there, the city has hosted Asia's most prestigious movie festival, the Busan International Film Festival, since 1996. South Korea has excelled in hosting global events. In fact, the country has held two of the three world mega events, two Olympics, Seoul 1988 Summer Olympics and Pyeongchang 2018 Winter Olympics. Also, the 2002 FIFA World Cup hosted by Korea and Japan. If Busan does get to host the World Expo in 2030, South Korea will become the first Asian country to have held all three of the world mega events. And South Korea has high economic and industrial GDP compared to OECD member countries, meaning the country is more than capable of inviting and hosting such a large-scale expo. Riyadh is reportedly one of the front runners. Saudi Arabia jumped into the race a lot earlier than other countries, securing votes from countries in Africa and South America. Around 70 countries have publicly expressed their support for Riyadh. Now, it's also boasting of its ability to use some 600 hectares for the expo venue. But it's not over until it's really over. Back in 2010, Shanghai won the bid by earning 20 more unexpected votes. So the secret ballot could be a favorable variable for South Korea, just like the Shanghai case.